Did you know that even a mainframe time-sharing computer had a virus? Well, sort of. Stick around for a quick look at the animal virus. The animal virus is a self-replicating program from 1975, which realistically didn't do anything malicious. It's most likely to be categorized as a fork bomb rather than a virus. However, it is still the first of its kind. The virus itself ran on the Univac Exec 8 operating system, which was a mainframe operating system. The primary purpose of the virus was actually a game. It wasn't actually written to be malicious, just a game that got a bit out of hand. Animal was written by John Walker in 1974 for the Univac Exec 8 operating system, which ran on the Univac 1100 computer. John Walker would go on to found the company Autodesk and develop the AutoCAD application. However, this video is not about John Walker, but rather about the animal virus. The first version of the program did not actually self-replicate. What would happen is that when players played the game, it would save the responses into a file on the disk. When a new player played the game, the answers that the player gave would change the data in the data file. Essentially, the program could self-update the answers so that future questions would be slightly different. You see, that was the game. The game was actually 20 questions. The game would ask questions about an animal and when the user gave answers, it would write it into the data file. Essentially, it's just the 20 question game, but in electronic form. The game was a hit from the very first version and everyone who had a Univac computer would ask John Walker for the game. This was a bit difficult because there was no such thing as the internet back then. So what John Walker would do is that he would copy the program into a magnetic tape and actually mail it, snail mail, all the way to the user that wanted to play the game. This was extremely tedious, but in 1974, this was the only way to get the game across to new players. So in 1975, John Walker came up with a bit of a devious idea. What he did was he wrote a routine called Pervade. What this routine did was when you ran the program, Animal, it will copy itself into every directory which the user could access. Now, in the Univac operating system, there were actually permissions for files and folders. So when it copied itself to every folder, eventually the program will copy itself to a shared folder and that shared folder will then go on some magnetic disk, which will then go to other users. So what John Walker was essentially doing was he kind of figured out that, hey, it's a bit complicated to be copying the program to disks and mailing them out. What if the program just self-replicated and it will reach a lot of other Univac users? Now, mind you, this was 1975. So it might have sounded like a good idea. I mean, you would never write such a program today that self-replicated all over just to copy a game. But hey, 1975, maybe this sounded like a good idea back then. The program was first released in San Francisco in a Univac system. It only lived there for about a week before it spread to another state, to Washington, to another Univac system. You see, back then, Univac systems had a way of transporting disks from one system to another. Maybe the disks were backups, maybe the disks were programmed, but it was common practice to take a magnetic disk from one univac and transport it to another. Within a week, Animal had traveled from one state to another in the United States. So, the Animal program went to many univac systems. When the program started up, what would happen is it would ask a question, it would ask the user about an animal they are thinking. The game will try to guess what that animal is by asking 20 questions. It, it's exactly the 20 question game. And every time the user gave an answer, it saved it in the data file. At that same time, the pervade routine would run and copy animal to all the folders. Now, the Univac had a feature which helped animal spread. 
if you type the name of a directory or a folder, uh, we're just going to call it a directory. If you type the name of a directory, what will happen is that the latest program that was put in that directory gets executed. So if animal is copying itself to all the directories, what's going to happen? If you type the name of a directory, it executes and copies itself yet again. But animal had some code to try to control the copying. It would override itself if it found an older version, but it would not damage any system files and it would not damage any user files in any of the directories. So there was some safety over there, but it still copied itself to every directory, including the shared directories. Now, this last capability of Animal of not damaging itself is ultimately what stopped the infection. There were no antivirus back then. So what happened was Animal would just keep copying itself indefinitely. However, a new version of the Univac operating system was released and the directory structure changed. So this algorithm that used to preserve the directory structure will look at it and go, wait a minute, I can't copy myself because I'll damage the directory. So the Animal virus essentially stopped itself because it was coded not to damage directories. And so when a new version of the file system came out, it just stopped copying itself. John Walker himself has actually commented on this virus and he has claimed he never wrote it as a virus. It was meant to be a game that got a bit out of hand because he wrote the pervade routine one year later. I mean, we, we can't fault him. It's it's in 1975, There's, it's very difficult to copy a program. So maybe it meant se more sense back then that the program just self-replicated. But it's a good thing that it had an algorithm to preserve the directories. If not, someone would have had to invent an antivirus. And there were urban legends that there was an antivirus called Hunter. But John Walker has stated that no such thing exists. The virus just stopped copying itself at a particular time because a new operating system version was installed. This also meant that anyone who was suffering from an infection just needed to upgrade their Univac and it would just stop by itself. Have you seen this virus before? I certainly have not. This, this is way older than myself. I've never actually used a mainframe or a Univac system. I've seen it in the museum. That's about it. I've never seen how it works. But I managed to get a hold of the assembler for the virus. I put a link in the description below with the uh, listings of the assembler and a letter that John Walker wrote clarifying what exactly happened to the virus. It's a good read, so get the link from the description below and definitely tell me what you think of the source code. If you can understand the source code, let me know what you think of the source code. Gentle reminder to subscribe give a like and hit that bell icon to be notified of new videos. It's been a pleasure bringing you this information. I am High Voice, signing out.